Greetings everyone, this is a uh, update video because I realized I haven't made videos in quite a while and uh, I've been quite busy as you can see um, I made this uh, geodesic uh, dome greenhouse with uh, bamboo which is quite special so I uh, just wanted to show this real quick and uh, <coughs> There's not really a finished door here, but uh, this is quite quite nice uh, inside. Already some plants here. Uh, I'm not the only one who built this or who's using it, but um, yeah, it works quite well. Now it's a bit cold, uh, 20 degrees Celsius. It's because the door is open, wide open. So obviously if you close it, it gets really hot. It was like 40 degrees here uh, earlier. <clears throat> so yeah, this is part of something called uh, Project Lagom in Sweden. And we basically want to make this uh, food grid. We want to make it possible for everyone to grow their own food and like to actually have shelter as well. Because uh, if you're a bit more aware and awakened, you will realize there are some sketchy things going on in the world. Well, there, there's always those kind of things going on in the world, but we're talking about the fact that there's going to be food shortages uh, in, in many places uh, quite soon. And uh, yeah, we have like, uh, I think like Bill Gates uh, buying up land and food processing plants and kind of destroying them and stuff. It's just really, really fucking weird uh, stuff. But uh, we actually want to provide a solution. So uh, right now we're just working in Sweden, but you know I want to work internationally with this as well because I think this is uh, really super important. And actually, this uh, kind of structure is well. There are many aspects to this, right? So first of all, like just the function as a greenhouse. Um, you know, it's, it's quite effective. This is quite big. This is like 25 square meters or something, right? And it has a lot of uh, verticality to it, right? It's very, very vertical. So uh, you can just hang stuff from the roof. Uh, you could use hydrophonics and other smart things to use that space. Uh, you could also use a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, you know, uh, uh, hengmatta, a, uh, you know, when you, you sleep in this, this uh, thing you hang above the ground. I, I just can't find a word right now. Anyway, so the thing is we could actually produce this for you know, not even $400, like, you know, it's, it's a give and take, and, like, if you want to live in a place like this, you obviously want to insulate it further, you have to spend some more money, but like, as a greenhouse, you can build this for uh, $500 or even less, right, and it's amazing, like, this could literally feed one person, right, and, like, I think uh, most people can afford uh, $500 like that's that's not so much and if you live in a bit warmer climate you could actually live uh, in this uh, quite spacious you could install a uh, small place for a campfire and a small chimney in the middle right like we are kind of uh, like we are using both modern design with the geodesic and greenhouse design but we are also inspired by like uh, tipis, you know, and uh, Mongolian tents, because those are quite ideal in, in many ways. Um, and it's like about creating a space, right? Which is uh, like this has a different quality than modern houses, right? The problem with modern houses is that they are boxes like it's literally this box you know and 
we want to think outside of the box we want to go outside of the box you know and if you want some more <laughs> in detail explanation you can watch my video about the uh, black cube of Saturn which is some wild shit but the point is that this is not a box right this is uh, higher dimensional this is geodesic uh, you can look up the definition of geodesic by the way quite interesting definition um, and you know this is built from a sphere but we have actually made the floor a uh, pentagon so it has uh, five sides instead of four so that's already an improvement but just the whole space is so much clearer you know and it's this amazing energy flow uh, because you know in a box house in a square there's really no flow because of the corners right but when you have something round things can just flow naturally and that would be like energy and uh, air as well and you know feng shui is this chinese principle of how you should build houses and how you should uh yeah what you should put in the houses and how and it's like really really important because it will literally affect your life uh depending on on how you live in what kind of building right so yeah like this has multiple functions it will be shelter it will be a greenhouse and you could like gain passive solar heat from this right and you could actually for example concentrate that heat with a parabola you could concentrate it with a mylar which is this sort of aluminum uh, aluminum foil looking uh, thing and you could actually use it to reflect sunlight and then you could uh, save that heat through like water tanks or through air that you ventilate or uh, you will actually concentrate the, the solar energy in like a small beam and then you can really get heat going and uh, there's actually people who do this with sterling engines right so you concentrate solar energy to heat up a sterling engine and it will generate a lot of energy right and uh, i actually live quite close to i think it's like europe's biggest uh, sterling engine place almost here in sweden at least in, in sweden or northern europe um, so i'm gonna go there and film a bit and speak to them uh, but yeah, like there are all kinds of amazing solutions you can use this kind of building for and uh, You know, it's a bit more rough if you live far north, but you know, I'm in Sweden quite far north. It's like Alaska almost and uh, You know if you do if, if you're just a bit smart you insulate you use the right technology in the right way You can actually make it work uh, You can find this video on YouTube. There's this family who live by the uh, polar circle in Norway and they have just made this big dome around uh, their house and I think they literally just get free heating all year around they can grow you know fruit inside there in the winter it's it's just crazy so like this will literally change the world you know when people start using this technology uh, so yeah, it has these really great practical purposes. Then of course, uh, if you know who I am and how I think, then, you know, I don't really work at the just practical plane. Um, you know, for me, there needs to be some real deeper significant meaning uh, with, with the things that I do. So if I build something, it has to be very specific and uh, your geodesic structure is uh, configured by uh, platonic solids which is quite significant uh, again if you don't know about why that's significant you can watch some of my other videos but basically uh, all um, you know molecules are configured by platonic solids and it's it's really important that we actually 
harmonize to that and uh, actually this kind of structure it's a way to harmonize ourselves to the universe to, to God you know and that's really why it works right that's why it's important um, and there are just so many facets of this that's important but this specific design it's uh, the kind of classic geodesic design that's taken from the uh, octahedron which is the air element uh, solid and then this uses a combination of hexagons and pentagons. So the hexagon is quite significant, like flower of life. You have the whole Saturn thing. Uh, and then you have the pentagon, which belongs to the ether. So it's actually a way to connect uh, earth element and ether in a way. And it's a way uh, to do it through the octahedron which is like the air element so that's like using your intellect it's using technology so that's exactly what we're doing oh it's a really nice strawberry already you know for Sweden this is like really nice for this period you know really really nice and uh, there's really a lot of significance when it comes to the hexagon and the pentagon and how they are connected right it's super significant and if you look at like old hermetic and alchemical images like even from the middle ages they will actually show this also uh, islamic scholars were really into this and i really want to make a video about it okay it's uh, really really significant because you know the pentagon is based on five the hexagon is based on six so it's actually a link between five and six and what that means right is is really significant because uh, if you know telema like you know that was kind of crowley's whole thing whatever but they have this uh, it's called a universal hexagram and they usually put a uh, pentagram in the middle of that so you know the pentagram is the number of uh, humans because I have like a head two legs and two arms uh, right and it's the middle world uh, which you will find to be number five in the um, southern magic square or the law shoe right uh, you can also also watch my other videos uh, for that and then six is like the order of the cosmos right that's how actually material reality is configured and how the planets are configured and all this is kind of the the cosmos itself so also you know five is uh, an uneven number so it's creative humans are very creative we are a bit chaotic we have a soul we are not perfectly ordered we are not robots right uh, but uh, surrounding environment you know material environment is robotic it is uh, you know predetermined by physical laws right and that's why it's an even number it's structure so the pentagon and hexagon it's a link between uh, you know humans and the universe but it's also a link between human consciousness creative consciousness and uh, matter right and actually how you know our conscious experience uh, happens at all right so this is super super important stuff this is super profound stuff and um, you know we have made this model called the uh, anthropicon which is like a model of a human that's made from yeah just like combining a uh, pentagram and the hexagram together uh, I don't have a picture of it here right now but I also want to make a video of it right and we are also using the toroidal model like like torus so this is how you know the universe is uh, constructed it's a, a toroidal field right uh, it's like the Vashira or uh, Yggdrasil you know and we are also using like the chakra color system so that would be going from 
uh, red, orange, uh, yellow, green, um, turquoise, uh, blue and uh, pink or magenta, right? And it's like the seven days and like we are using all of this very intimately in this project and in building these buildings, right? So it's not just about making a nice greenhouse, you know, this is actually much, much more and it's, it's super important. And, you know, right now you can literally build this for uh, $500, you know, and I would really like to show people how to do this. I would like to enable people how to do this. Uh, especially in, uh, you know, for, for more poor people in more poor regions, poor countries. And I think regardless where you live, like, you could just have this and you could grow your own food. You know, it's, it's just a safety measure, like, you can save energy, whatever. It's, like, it's, it's really, really just uh, no reason not to have it, basically. And, you know... Like, it's not like we're just a company that, you know, produces this, although we might do that in the future. You know, like we're going to make the, all of this open source. Uh, we are uh, 3D printing uh, some of these co components. Um, it's like these um, hubs here. Um, yeah, so, like, we are 3D printing these parts, then we are using bamboo sticks, right? And actually... Bamboo is, it's like super cheap and reliable. Uh, it's very sturdy, right? You can really, you know, these are a bit tiny. Maybe we want to use a bit bigger bamboo or thicker bamboo. But like, it's really good material that's like 50 times as uh, cheap as just wood, you know, regular wood. So you can also grow bamboo and it grows very quickly. You can also grow bamboo in greenhouses, so you can make a greenhouse that makes more greenhouses, right? Then the issue of the plastic. Well, right now this is just a, uh, you know, standard greenhouse plastic that we made to fit uh, to this. But an emerging technology are uh, bioplastics, right? So they do exist, they are not so great right now, they are not so reliable but they do exist, right? So it's very obvious that those are going to be used in the future, right? Like you can literally make this kind of plastic uh, from plant material, right? That would just be super, super ideal. And uh, yeah, I also know technologies to make your own uh, bio coal, like your own biofuel, right? And you can combine that to heat, you know, these kind of structures, your your house. You can use that for fertilizer, you can use that for energy, right? You can use that to make your own coal filter, you can filter your own water with that. And you know, there is all kinds of things that we are doing and I really want to share it with people. So I really hope I can do that. And if anyone is interested, you know, just uh, hit me up with a message or something. And uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not really sure how I should go into this, but like there's all this practical stuff that I want to do and I want to share it with people like open source. And then there's all this like, you know, occult esoteric stuff that I want to make, like all this content, you know, it's just, I haven't had the time and you know, time is money, which is a problem. So I would also like to make more content and more quality co content because the content I made so far Sure, it's very, uh, you know, deep and profound, I, I hope, I don't know, but it, it, it really needs to be higher quality, that's something I'm more aware of, but I'm not like a professional video editor and I really don't have like the time and resources for that, so uh, one thing would be to have someone work for me with that, or then I'm kind of thinking about, you know, like should I set up a like Patreon Kickstarter thing for this, because you know, it's not about money per se, but it's like, I think this is super important and I want to do it. And if I need to work all day with something else, then I, I won't have the time uh, to do it, you know, which is a problem. So um, if anyone has any thoughts about this, you know, then, you know, you can, uh, again, like just write your honest thoughts about this. Like, should I set up a Patreon or something? 
uh, would you be interested in supporting me? Because I think that uh, this is really like stuff that can help save the world, you know? Like we have this fucked up system uh, in society and like we can change it totally. We can just enlighten ourselves. We can <laughs> build our own constructions that are better than the usual constructions, right? And um, we can grow our own food that's healthy and full of chemicals, right? We can build communities where people are free and happy and healthy, you know, and not all this office job bullshit, right? So I think this is super important and like I'm really, really doing this, like this is real stuff, you know? And, like, if, if you haven't been living under a rock, you know, the world is kind of fucked up. There's wars, there was this pandemic, and, you know, there's like the Bill Gates uh, Eugenics Foundation doing shit. And, like, it's it's crazy stuff, and we really need to, like, get, get, get together and, you know, just, just do the right thing. Like, that's all this is about. So, uh, yeah, I, I really think I should uh, increase my online presence and uh, uh, connect with more people, you know. So I'm not really sure how I should do that. I think the first step would be to make more content and better content. And to do that, I would need some more time and resources. So yeah, if anyone has any ideas, you know, please just hit me up. Just anything uh, would help right now. It's not that I'm in need, but I think the world is in need. And that I really can help it, you know. And I have a lot of experience and qualifications. I have a major in environmental science. I have worked with this professionally. You know, then I'm a yoga teacher, I'm a Qigong teacher, I'm a Tai Chi teacher, you know, and I have all this really valuable esoteric knowledge. So yeah, I, I really just want to give this to the world in the best way possible. So uh, yeah, again, just uh, I want to find the right way to do it, the right channel to do it. So, if anyone has any ideas, just, uh, you know, let's just start chatting, let's just start, uh, you know, doing these things for real. Alright, so that was my update. I will uh, try to make, make more content, as I said. It's really important stuff, and uh, if you think this is important, you can uh, try to share this around, okay? And uh, I'll see you next time. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.